Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Over the last year, Anycubic has been busy innovating with their Cobra series of 3D printers. First, they released the Anycubic Cobra 3, which when paired with their Ace Pro, allowed for eight color 3D printing at an insanely low price point. Then at the beginning of this year, they released the Anycubic Cobra S1, a Core XY 3D printer which built upon the feedback from the community to provide an even more reliable and user-friendly machine. And finally, Anycubic released the Cobra 3 Max, a massive, large-format 3D printer. All three of those printers are able to use the Ace Pro to enable multicolor and multi-material 3D printing. I bought all three of these printers, the Cobra 3, the Cobra S1, and the Cobra 3 Max with my own money. And you can check out my reviews and first impressions of all of those printers here. And as you see in those videos, I had a great experience with all three of those printers and gave some strong recommendations. But Anycubic has continued to listen to feedback and look for areas of improvement and are sponsoring this video to introduce their latest printer, the Cobra 3 V2. So while this is a hashtag ad, before you click away, I think it's interesting to see the improvements that Anycubic focused on for the V2, and also interesting to see the software improvements that they'll be bringing back to the original Cobra 3. So if you already own a Cobra 3, you'll see your printing experience become better as these improvements are made available to you. And if you are looking for a brand new printer, let's see what the Cobra 3 V2 could bring to your home or shop. Let's start with the hardware improvements. The Cobra 3 V2 brings a number of structural changes. The main change is that the Y-axis has been widened from 40mm to 60mm. That extra width gives the print bed more stability, minimizing height deviations while printing and bed leveling. The X-axis also sees improvements, with upgraded SG-15 bearings and improved eccentric nuts for better alignment and reduced wobble. One of the main issues with the original Cobra 3 was its notoriously leaky nozzle. I never experienced it myself, but the internet is full of people asking about leaks from the nozzle. But the V2 will now come with the same improved nozzle as the Cobra S1, greatly reducing leaks. That full metal hot end also features a quick release design, allowing you to swap out different nozzle sizes and makes maintenance simpler. And with the V2, a 720p camera comes as a standard feature. That allows you to watch your print in real time and create time-lapse videos. And this higher video quality will also be backported to the original Cobra 3 via software updates, if you have a camera installed. And Anycubic has been working on software optimizations and has been able to increase the print dimensions from the original 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters to 255 by 255 by 260 millimeters. Both the length and the width have increased by 5 millimeters, resulting in a 4% improvement to total print volume. And all of that is without changing the PEI spring steel build plates, which remains the same and fully compatible. And better yet, since this is a software improvement, this increase will also be coming to the original Cobra 3. 4% larger print volume for free? I love to see it. Anycubic has also upgraded their auto bed leveling with regional leveling. It'll look at the model you are about to print and run bed leveling on just the area where you'll be printing. This regional bed leveling will reduce the print preparation time and ensure the perfect bottom layer for superior first layer adhesion and higher print success rates. And this is another feature that the original Cobra 3 will have access to via software updates. The Cobra 3 V2 retains the rest of the awesome features of the original. Print speeds of up to 600 millimeters per second result in extremely quick prints. And you'll get up and running just as quick, with the Cobra 3 V2 coming fully assembled in the box. Just plug in the hot end and you'll be up and running in under 15 minutes. And the Cobra 3 V2 keeps the advanced features of the Clipper firmware that the Cobra OS is built upon. One-click vibration compensation allows for input shaping, which effectively eliminates ringing or echo artifacts. And the pressure advanced calibration fine-tunes the printer's extrusion even when switching between different filament types and materials. And by pairing the Cobra 3 V2 with the Anycubic Color Engine, or Ace Pro, you have access to vibrant 4 or 8 color prints. And the Ace Pro has a built-in filament dryer, keeping your filament nice and dry for optimal prints. The Cobra 3 V2 combo has an 8 color filament hub shipped with the combo. No need to print your own 8 color hub. You'll have everything you need to print multicolors right out of the box. The Cobra 3 V2 is compatible with the Ace Pro from the Cobra 3 and Cobra 3 Max. I love seeing companies make incremental improvements to both their software and their hardware. The number of improvements from the V2 that they were able to bring back to the original Cobra 3 via software updates is awesome. It shows Anycubic's commitment to the Cobra 3 series. And the V2's hardware improvements focus on reliability and usability. I've run my Cobra 3, Cobra S1, and Cobra 3 Max printers hard, and they haven't let me down. I'm hoping to get my hands on the Cobra 3 V2 soon, so I can put it through its paces to really test out these improvements. But seeing the specs, I have high hopes for the Cobra 3 V2. 
Currently, the Cobra 3 V2 combo is on pre-order with super early bird pricing at just 379 US dollars. That's for the four color combo, including the Cobra 3 V2 and the Ace Pro. If you want the eight color combo with the two Ace Pro units, that's on sale for 638 US dollars. The Cobra 3 V2 by itself is on sale for just 249 US dollars. If you're interested, I have links in the description where you can learn more, but be quick. That super early word pricing is only available for a few more days. So thank you everyone for watching. Be sure to subscribe for the Cobra 3 V2 review when I get my hands on a unit. And thank you Anycubic for sponsoring this video. And you can check out my previous videos for the Cobra 3, Cobra S1, and Cobra 3 Max to get a feel for what Anycubic is bringing to the 3D printing community. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.